Previously on Bottom Feeders. You really have to find something else to do if, if things stay this bad. It's hard to even say. Hey, where's Snake? Shit. Oh. The whole deal with being a fisherman, it's always about getting the big haul. That's what we live for. Well, there ain't too many more hauls in our areas. No. When they order fish, if you don't have it, somebody else does have it, there's one of your markets gone. Well, what in the hell is going on? Not what we planned for at all. Carp, sheephead, buffalo, and suckers. For most Americans, these bottom feeders have no place in our lakes or on our plates. But there are fishermen who have found opportunity. Fishing as in life. The only constant is change. For Mike and Rick Johnson, high season is producing low results. Well, I think we need a new game plan there, buddy boy. That one we're like. The glut of rain has water levels at an historic high. It takes the consistency away from fishing when we get the high waters like we did. A lot of the stuff that we like to do in the spring, if the water stays really high, we just can't do it. I think we're on our, like our third or fourth flood for the year. It goes down a foot and goes back up three feet. Yeah, it's been rough even finding them. Although fishing is unsteady, Mike and Rick's once prickly relationship is at peace. Me and Mike are getting along. It's tough to even do anything with him or without him, the fact that the fishing's been so bad. As soon as it's a weekend, I'll probably go and spend some time with the kids here for a while. Yeah, I can, I can head out and look for some fish. Mike's got a family. He's got things to do. I can spend from daylight to dark out in the water. It don't bother me. I don't know. Maybe you get lucky, find some fish. We'll get after him, I guess. That's right. I'll go look. Yeah, I'll keep my phone on it. That's the beauty of fishing. I, I can dictate when I need time. I, I can take it. I've got to look out for my family like I need to. Later. Yeah, I'll give you a call if I see something. Adversity is like a wave. It could either push someone down or propel them forward. Further down the river, partners Tim Adams and Jeff Reederman are unsure of how this swell will break. A lot of floating debris on the river today. This spring's fishing has been hit or miss. The river, when it gets that high, there's no way to pin the fish down. They go wherever they want. So many trees, sticks, logs, just been a nightmare. Ain't no fish left here like there used to be. Hopefully we can run into a few today. Commercial fishing's probably one of the toughest things in the world to try to make a living at. I mean, if you can't get at the fish, you can't make no money at it. Hopefully have enough areas where you can always get out and do something. With decent hauls hard to find, Tim is cashing in on a secret fishing spot. His partner, Jeff, believes it's time to make a big play for the untapped fishing waters of Idaho. We need to get our asses out west, Tim. This fishing up here has been a little meager lately. Hard for me to leave. I really don't want to go out west. Being away from my family, that's just going to be a killer. I'm not totally convinced that out there is the place to be. Idaho, carp and potatoes, Tim. He's always fired up about something. He desperately wants to go out there, but I'd have to see it before I made any real commitment. The species that can't adapt to changing conditions become extinct. If we don't get out west, where there still is a lot of fish, we're gonna go extinct too. The only thing that you can do to survive net and carp is to get more. They're not gonna survive in Minnesota. There's no damn way. See him smoking the net? Looks like we might have found a few fish today. That's not very likely around here anymore.
For fish market owner operator Jeff Ritter, business is so good, it's a disaster. Jeff could hardly get fish in the building before he must send his product back out. You got these cat here and access to more, correct? Right. Okay, so what are we doing about our buffalo order? This spring has been absolutely nuts. We're trying to battle and, and keep our orders filled the best that we can, and they just keep coming in. If you're not at home, I'll, I'll have them on ice, and I'll set them right inside your back door. I know what it's like to go fishing and be at another fish buyer's mercy. I think that's what drives me to accept the orders right now. Hello. You say as soon as I possibly can? Yeah. Oh, might mean up to a week. I am at my limit. I'm not going to take any more orders on. We're going to try to meet everything we've accepted, and we'll go from there. Hello? I was told that you guys process and catch your own buffalo. Yep. Boy, I could sure use 2,500 pounds. I would make it worth your while, because I need them really bad. I want to, I, yeah, I don't want to turn it down. I will figure something out if I got to pull a rabbit out of my hat. Why say no when it feels so good to say yes? <laughs> I'm going to try to get my stuff loaded up. I can do it. <laughs> say a prayer for me. How's that sound? I got to go. How many species of catfish are native to North America? How many species of catfish are native to North America? The answer is B, 39. Incredibly, Tennessee is home to 22 different kinds of catfish. Back in Pepin, Mike Johnson is on family duty while his brother Rick heads back to work. Yeah, my brother just took off. Gotta do the family thing. Come on. Run out and look for some fish. Go up in a couple of these bays up here. It's usually a pretty good spot up in here, so. Gotta keep going. You're not going forward, you're standing still. Mike's son Jimmy will be 16 in just a few days. Careful now. This is an important gig, taking him driving, and we got a long way to go with Jimmy driving yet. And now uh, you got to be dad and and do it. You ready for this? Not just the test, the real world of driving. Oh, I am ready. I've got four kids. I think they know what's really important is that I'm there for them, no matter what I have to do to do it. I'm going to make sure they're all right. I don't think the lake's going to calm down today. Don't worry about that lake. You just watch the road you're driving now. <laughs> I think that's your uh, phone there, Dad. That is my phone. Hello. Yeah, I haven't seen a few fish up here. I mean, it looks pretty good. I, I seen 20, 30 head waves, about 10 boils. Oh, yeah? It is a tough decision it, when I, when I got to put fishing in front of my son. Bye. Well, I guess he found some fish up there. Did he? We'll see. I think I'm gonna have to get nuts out. Yeah. I don't have time for this. Although his business is already at capacity, Jeff Ritter is trying to squeeze in one more order. 2,500 pounds of buffalo will be a big payday. It's either going to be too much in the pain in the butt, or it's going to be just right because we'll get a nice little bunch of fish. I don't really think I should be leaving, but I did commit to this guy to get him his fish. It could be the beginning to a good business relationship for a regular order that could be huge for us. Jeff is bound for the Mississippi River. It seems like every time I turn around, people want more fish, which is a great thing. And it's also a, a thing that makes me quite nervous as far as can we handle it or not. I don't even know what conditions we're going to face. I know the river's on the rise big time. The fish buyers, they don't want to hear my excuse about the river. They just want their boxes of fish. In this section, water is up more than three feet. Oh, 
We might have to move a dock. Look like it floated into the damn parking lot. I'm beginning to second guess my saying yes. I may have, uh, I may have overstepped my bounds just a little bit. Usually the best option for a solo job is a gill net, but high water changes everything. Well, we gotta mess up right off the bat. Son of a The conditions are not good. I, I do have some experience in the high water. Let's hope that, uh, let's hope it pays off. I, I'm gonna have to get better than this or I'm in trouble. There we go. I'm gonna start driving. There's a lot more current here than I thought there was, so I hope I didn't lay out into a mess. With their nets out in the secret spot, Tim and Jeff drive their fish into position. Yeah, we'll get some fish today. The way it looks, anyway. Hopefully we can catch quite a few. We got about 8,000 foot of gill net. Um, we don't normally gill net that much, but because of the high water, we thought, well, we might as well try this today. Start bringing it in. That net should be coming out like a log. Solid fish. I think we need to make that big move, get diversified. I think we need to be a little bit on a speculative side, get out there and lay a chip on the out west as a sleeper bet. If you're a Johnny come lately, you're too late. You gotta start making some real money, big money. I right, might as well quit. I mean, if you wanna go out and get $200 worth of fish a day, you're just wasting your time. It'll be a good day for up here, I guess, but. Yeah, but what's that? What the hell's a guy gonna do? Expand our territory. You know, I can see heading out west be, being a good thing. But man, it's hard to leave my my family at home. You know, there's a lot of risk involved. You know, I'm just not I'm not totally convinced. I'm coming. We gotta get going. I think the lake's gonna calm down today. Don't worry about that lake, you just watch the road you're driving now. <laughs> Mike Johnson is putting fishing on hold to help his son Jimmy prepare for a rite of passage. I think that's your uh, phone there, Dad. That is my phone. Hello. Yeah, I haven't seen a few fish up here. I mean, it looks pretty good. I, I seen 20, 30 head waves, about 10 boils. We're gonna need your boat. It's hard getting caught when I'm supposed to be spending some time with Jimmy. I mean, I gotta take care of my kid here, and but I gotta take care of the whole family fishing. Anything out there by the river? I suppose it's currently out there where we could set here now. Uh, There's way too much current. Yeah. All right, well, I suppose we're gonna have to cut this a little short, Jimbo. But I'll be up there in, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, I suppose. Bye. Well, I guess he found some fish up there. Did he? We'll see. Yeah. I kind of bummed Jimmy out here a little bit, I'm sure. Right now, you know, my priorities are kind of mixed here, and I just kind of got to go fish when the fish are there. Driving lesson postponed. Mike joins his brother Rick to get down to business. Well, I hope you're right here. Rains at nets when it's supposed to be my day off. I just hope this works where we catch some fish and it was worth taking my time away from Jimmy. Mike and Rick must pick the right spot to drop their net overnight. Bully! And got all day when there's no organization in a boat. You know, talking to Mr. Organization. I hate interrupting them with the driving lessons, but I mean, when you see fish, you gotta fish them. Tomorrow they could be gone. Wow. Careful with that. Don't hurt yourself. I might need you tomorrow, yeah. Hopefully at least when I get home, I tell Jimmy it was worth it. Should be a good day tomorrow.
Boy, I don't see any sign of life. Jeff Ritter needs 2,500 pounds of buffalo, but so far the only thing he's caught is a snag. This I don't need. <laughs> Take on an order like this, I've got quite a bit of pride in my own fishing skills or whatever, and maybe I don't know how to find these fish the way I thought I did. Not good. Can't win. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to jump in the river. I'm not going to lose my temper and going to battle. I'm going to, I'll go make another set if that's what it takes, and, and we'll fish till dark. I'm not, I'm not going to lose my head over it. Finally, something's going right. What I'm talking about right here, it looks good. I think we will be in excellent shape. I didn't think it looked very good, but it definitely turned out great. This makes for a nice ending to the week. I mean, I feel a thousand percent relief. Number one, it'll help me towards the order. Number two, it, um, my second guessing of myself is going away. I ain't gonna boast a bag on the best, but I feel good right now. 2,500 pounds of buffalo is worth over $2,000. This makes the day much better, though. It definitely eases the stress a little bit. driving instruction will again have to wait. There's a lesson here. Hard times require even harder choices. Scrambling to make up for meager spring hauls, Mike and his brother Rick are checking the nets they dropped yesterday. What we both need really is to keep enough fish in the boat where we're making money consistently. Hopefully we'll have nets full of fish out there. And nobody ran them over this morning. I hate interrupting them. Jimmy can learn how to drive tomorrow. There's always tomorrow, except in fishing. Tomorrow, they could be gone. Spring fishing is usually consistent in these waters, but not this year. This looks like we got a bunch of sticks out here in this current. Just nothing seems to work right. Even when we think we're in fish, it doesn't seem like we can catch them. Pretty slim. Like, I know I seen fish here. If you want to be mad about it, you can be mad about it. I know what I saw. Doesn't look good. Got a bite. Oh yeah, here we go. There they are. It's Moby. Woohoo! We're on them. Now I ain't gonna hear the end of this. Mr. Know-it-all is back on track here. Keep them coming. If the nets stay consistent, we should do pretty good. I guess I should bought it a little more often. At least it looks like we're fishermen again. We got a purse. Hell yeah. We're on it, baby. You know what I'm going for first. Gotta get the purse, down fish. Found that purse and I'm like, wow, can you believe it? Oh yeah, I'll take a purse any day. You got my new pair of glasses. Some chapstick. It's perfectly good yet. We don't like chapstick. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. Oh, you got some money here. All right. Hee <laughs> oh. hee. Oh, a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks. Unreal. You always got to look optimistic that, you know, every day is going to be good. Hoping that you're going to make money. Maybe this is the start of it. That wasn't too bad a day. Catch a few fish and some kind of bonus or Maybe it is just a plus sign, and the gods are going to look down on us here a little bit. Doubled up, caught fish, and we got paid. All we got paid day. the first day we caught. Cool. Nice. Now remember, you owe me 50 bucks yet. I owe you $50. Come on now. Pay up. I ain't got no money. <laughs> Story of money. a fisherman. That's right. Faced with rapidly decreasing hauls, Tim Adams and his partner Jeff Riederman have resorted to cashing in a secret spot. They consider most days you come out and you can't even hardly find a fish to catch. Jeff and I will probably catch a couple thousand dollars worth of fish today. 
Yeah, it's, it's going okay. I just don't like gill net and carp any more than I have to. We're not making more than a couple hundred bucks a piece. I just don't think we can stay busy in Minnesota anymore. There's, uh, there's just flat out not enough fish. Oh, man. Every time I go fishing, you know, you always, you want to do better than you did the last time. And I know if I stick around here, it just ain't gonna happen. I mean, a couple thousand bucks a day ain't bad for, for gill netting, but the guy's gotta keep pushing for the, for the big one. It's not here anymore. I know opportunity's out there, you just gotta go get it. I know Jeff's on board for trying about anything. He seems to think everything's out west. All right, we're good to go. The total catch is just over two tons of fish. Catching 10, 20,000 pounds a day when we used to catch 100, 200,000. It's not really cutting the bill. Let's see, we gotta get these bolts around. We'll get them tied up and we're gonna start marching. Yeah, we gotta get going. I've seen a lot of those secret spots over the years. They don't stay secret forever. I'm going all west one way or the other. Today was a fair day, but there was three days prior to this that weren't worth a hoot. You know, Jeff and I, we got a partnership, so what the heck, I'm willing to give it a shot, you know? Maybe the big hauls out there. I think I'm gonna have to go all west with you, Jeff. Go try her. See what's out there. It's a gamble, yeah. Million dollar gamble, but that's worth a shot. Let's give her a shot. 